Father in heaven, we are gonna we are standing out in this place and share your word to your people, Father. Father, we ask for the Holy Spirit to come and reveal your word and let your word come alive in the heart of your people, Father, even to heal them as they are carrying upon their bodies sickness and all kind of pain, Father. Lord, we ask you in Jesus' name that you do so as we preach your word according to your word. As the people hear the good news, you will do signs and wonders in their midst, Lord God. Father, we thank you and we praise you what you are doing in the heart and also the life of your people. We give you praise, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, I'd like to, um, like to encourage you about Jesus Christ. We all know about Jesus Christ. We heard about the name of Jesus Christ. Some of us, when we hear the name of Jesus Christ, anger come arose into our life, into our mind. So we think of the name of Jesus Christ is a bad name or is a bad person. The name of Jesus Christ. So I would like to encourage you, you know, to encourage your belief. Your belief. I encourage you to believe in the name of Jesus Christ because I'm going to read you something that is so powerful that I heard from uh, from the church today. This is the message that we received from the pulpit by the man of God today that he preached about do you believe? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Well, our, our son out here, is, he says, Thus Jesus heals. And also on the other side, he says, Thus Jesus saves. So do you believe on this sign here? Hanging, Hanging on this side, Thus Jesus saves. And on this side here, Thus Jesus heals. Yes. So let me answer this question for you. Yes, he does. Yes. Jesus heals and Jesus saves. But the main important thing is, do you believe but? Do you believe in that name, Jesus Christ? Do you believe in the name of Jesus Christ? Do you believe? So the story in what the, the book that I'm going to read you is in the book of Mark, chapter 16. Well, the preacher was saying today there are two group of people sitting. There are two group of people, which is the woman, Mary Magdalene, was there, and also the 11 disciples was also there. So the woman believed, but the disciples of Jesus Christ, they don't believe. You know, it's amazing. You're like Christians, we call ourselves Christians, whatever uh, uh, denomination you call yourself. I believe you're talking about Jesus Christ, but they go to church like these people, they follow Jesus Christ, but they don't believe in Him. They make an act of following Jesus Christ. They call themselves disciples, but they don't believe in Jesus Christ. And also this woman, he's not a disciple, but he believes in Jesus Christ. So one day Jesus appeared to them and tell and ask the question to them, do you believe that I died and rose up again? Do you believe? So that's the, the question I'm going to ask you, brothers and sisters. So your religion, does your religion save you? Or does your church save you? No. Do you put your trust and your faith in your church? Ha <laughs> ha! There's an answer coming here, no! So that's what the question Jesus was really asking to, to his disciples. Do you really believe that I am well? Jesus asked this question to his disciples. They asked, Jesus asked the disciples, who do men say that I am? This is the question Jesus was asking. And, and also, this is the, the deep question that Jesus asking his disciples, do you believe or who do you say that men say that I am? Some of them say 
You are John the Baptist, you are the apostles, you are that, you are that, you are that. But this particular disciple whom he deceived Jesus later on says, Jesus, you are the Son of God. Amen. You are the Son of God. You are the Son of God. And Jesus said, brother, you know what? Your flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. But my Father in heaven put that in your heart to say that to me, that I am the Son of the living God. Amen. But this disciple also didn't believe because Jesus entered into that room in that day and asked him, believe me, I am the Son of the living God who can and who will save you from everything that's going through your life. So brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you, your faith to believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way. You know, my, my fellow brothers, Muslims and sisters, they don't believe in Jesus Christ. They go direct to the Father. No, that is wrong. You gotta, you gotta accept Jesus Christ first. You gotta know Jesus Christ. If I had to invite you to my house, I had to give it a, a, I had to ask my wife first if it's okay for you to come into my house. If my wife says no, it's a no. It's the same way like Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. You have to come to know Jesus Christ. You have to accept that Jesus Christ died for you and also for me. That, that through the shedding blood of Jesus Christ washed our sins. He, God Almighty created Jesus Christ in the form of a man. And he shared the blood. Jesus Christ shared the blood for you and I. So that's why we have to go through Jesus Christ. For us to go to the Father. As Paul quote the scripture later on uh, before. That Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man, no woman, no organization that will go to the Father. Except through Jesus Christ. That's why Jesus said, I, he is the way. So, brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you that Jesus is the only way. So, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ today, brothers and sisters, you, gotta, you better think again. You better think again that Jesus Christ is the only way. There's no other way but Jesus Christ. If you don't have Jesus Christ into your heart, I'm sorry, the Bible says you are bound for hell. If you don't accept Jesus Christ into your heart, the Bible says you are bound for hell. When you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, when you accept Jesus Christ into your heart, you are bound for heaven. You are bound for heaven. Let them laugh. Jesus was laughing them days. Jesus loves them them days. All right. So God loves them, but God loves them. Amen. He loved them. Because we are all created in the image and also likeness of our Father. Jesus Christ. So my, my message, my encouragement is believe. Believe one day this whole world, this whole earth, this earth's gonna be burned, brothers and sisters. This earth's gonna be burned up. So believe in Jesus Christ so that you will not be left behind. Believe in Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus saves. Yes, Jesus heals. Yes. Jesus is the son of the living God. Yes, Jesus was in the beginning. And Jesus is in the middle. And Jesus is at the end. Amen. Amen. So brothers and sisters, may, may the good Lord, may the, I pray that the Spirit of God will move upon your heart because we share the gospel. We share the name of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ will act upon, the Holy Spirit will act upon the word that we preach, that we share to you. It is Jesus Christ. So may God bless you. Have a godly day. We pray that you will come and, and have a prayer with us in Jesus' name. Amen.